Hello and welcome back to Fan Friday. I know it's been a couple of Fridays since our last meeting. We're very sorry about that. We were on a lovely holiday on the other side of the world. No, we were not. We were actually busy and we were also busy playing shows. Oh God, it was so good to be back on stage. So with all these good vibes, we are back kicking off the weekend with Fan Friday. Oh god, that really depends on the fighting skills of the Empo ducks, ducks Empos, because one Empo sized duck would be impossible to defeat. And uh, the other option is just so disturbing to think of that I guess I'd rather fight the Empo sized duck. Well, I don't. <laughs> um, hence my preparation. I need to have already uh, spilled the tears, I need to have already gone through everything and then it kind of numbs in a way that I can sing it while I'm still feeling it. And I cannot look at you guys in the audience because if I see somebody else go, then I go too. <laughs> yeah, are in the... <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good one actually. I mean, we usually work in a very small but very high room. Uh, with extremely high doors and stuff, so we don't need to you know, bend down. Um, fortunately, we're both very small but high, so that helps. Um, and it's, it's been great working with Arian ever since I was a teenager, basically, and he asked me for, for the first Arian album. So, uh, yeah, Arian is a fantastic musician and someone who really, really knows what to do with the voice and specifically, well, my voice or, you know, the voice he's, he's working with. So. Uh, if he asks you for a project, you know you're going to be properly challenged and as you know of me, I love a good challenge, so uh, it would be great to work with him again. It's basically making sounds. Um, I need to understand what I'm singing, that's, that's important, um, to go from just making sounds to actually telling the story, uh, regardless if I, and if I actually understand it word by word. And then I write down the lyrics uh, as I hear them phonetically uh, from my mother tongue, so from Dutch. And from there I start to practice and then I listen again to how it's been sang and try to ad adapt the, the accent. I need to see, I need to feel where, where in the mouth the, the language is placed. Uh, for instance, uh, Swedish is placed much uh, more in the front of the mouth, where Dutch is a bit more in the back depending on where the R, the R is, if the L is a thick L or a thin L. Uh, all these details make a huge difference. So I, I need to go through all these details and uh, taste it, as I always say, taste it in my mouth where, where it's supposed to land. And uh, I go from there and build it to sound as native as I, I possibly can. I need, to, I need to get the energy from something else than myself in that case. And usually the music helps a great deal. Um, and then there is, of course, the audience. So the, the interaction with, with, with a cool crowd that responds to me giving energy, I get it back. And from there we start this, yeah. And that works for me, then, then I get properly energized. I'm sorry? Uh, you're asking me for laundry advices now? Okay, first of all, Google it. Second of all, Google it. If it's red wine, put um, salt on it. Google it. <laughs> and if you still don't know, then uh, look through all my videos and find the answer. That's on red wine you put salt, and on white wine, I guess you don't need to do anything, but I'm not an experienced white wine drinker. I always spill red wine basically everywhere. And uh, well, you know. <laughs> Extensive yawning of the man behind the camera. For me, classical, because I, I'm raised with pop music and uh, it's not just a different use of voice. The, the whole rhythm and, and feeling is so completely different that if you're used to playing music on a certain beat, 
Classical music is, is super difficult to find because it's off the beat. You can go a bit faster, you can go a bit slower. And uh, pop music is probably very structured songs. Uh, even Nightwish has very complex and long songs, but it's nothing compared to a classical piece. So in that sense, I would say classical music. <laughs> well, he, uh, he doesn't. He's, um, he barks with a Swedish accent. And then he barks in a way that, that it feels like the whole air is vibrating. And even though he's the sweetest guy in the world, not Swedish, but sweetest. Um, he, um, yeah, he, uh, he sounds pretty, pretty dangerous. No, sit. Yeah, sit. Oh, so dirty. What us? Oh, wow. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this Fan Friday. I hope you'll have a great weekend. Hope you can get to do a lot of cool things that are not completely uh, pandemic, blah, 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 blah. Just have fun. Have a happy, happy Friday and a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.